gosh, that is so much better. <laughs> Anyways, today's video, I wanted to do a haul or I guess... It's not really an unboxing because there's not a box. A shopping haul, I guess. But what is a haul? I think I get mixed up with hauls and unboxing and lookbooks and stuff. I mean, I know what a lookbook is. Anyways, moving on. Today I wanted to show you guys what I have purchased over like the last month. Because you know we're about to go into August. My birthday's coming up. Turning 16, that's all I gotta say. And that's really important. Another shopping trip, maybe? Okay, let's get started with today's haul video unboxing extravaganza lookbook so first i'm gonna start with this i know what this is it's not a this you never realize how many clothes you have until you go through your drawers and you're pulling stuff out and seeing what you wear and what you don't wear and then you realize you actually don't wear a lot of your stuff as much as you thought you did because people always tell you hey you look really nice and you don't even seem like you wear the same clothes every day that's not true I don't have 525,000 that's not that's the minutes um I don't have guys I forgot how many days are in a year that's bad that's really bad I'll search it up and insert it somewhere to make myself not look stupid but anyways, the first product I got was some Nike shoes. Amazing. There are these white shoes right here. Forrest Gump shoes, as my dad says. But I think they're really nice because, like, not many people have these shoes. And I also saw them on the Urban Outfitters website because one of the models was wearing them with the dress. I was like, I love those shoes. Where can I get them for not a lot of money? Definitely not Urban Outfitters. But anyways... I saw them and I was like, I want them. So, guess where I got them? Macy's. <laughs> Alright, but yes, I love these and I can't wait to wear them because they're just really nice. I don't know what to pair them with though. The next pair of shoes I got were from Journeys. And they have become a really popular shoe this year. I've always had this shoe, this brand, but I've never worn the shoes that much because I always thought people were gonna before I used to care about what people thought about me I don't remember that time from journeys I got some vans guys amazing but they are very different compared to all the other vans that people usually get they usually get the regular checkered vans or the regular black vans or the white ones or the red ones but I kind of just wanted to get something different I mean people may have this but from what I know not a lot of people have the, have these and I also saw a model wearing these when I was window shopping somewhere I don't know where but I love them because they're platform when I show these to people I think they're cute but then they're like wait they're platform hmm. I'm like why don't you like platform shoes these are really nice and when I wear them they look nice on my feet even though you can't see my feet so they look nice on my ankles. And I don't remember the price. It doesn't matter. Next thing I got, I got this top from Garage. Garage is in a store. Garage is like the in-between of Forever 21 and Urban Outfitters. Because their stuff is kind of expensive, but then you go to Urban Outfitters and you're like, whoa, let's go back to Garage if you think about it. <laughs> and I got this little rainbow tube top. I mean, it would look better if it was on a person. But you know, I actually, I used to not like just the regular block colors, you know, like block yellow, block red, the usual reds and stuff. But now I do, because when they're put together, they look really nice. I was going to get another shirt that had a rainbow on it too, but then that wasn't part of the sale. And this was $7 because it was on sale. Surprisingly, their stuff goes down a lot when they have a sale. Some other shirt I was looking at, it was $10, and I was like, wow, don't have the money for that right now. <laughs> another shirt I got. Which I'm actually really surprised that I got this was this shirt from H&M. And I'm really surprised I got this because I used to not wear clothes like this. I actually have more of a 70s style because I realized that I track towards that section of Forever 21. Because like where I live, you walk into Forever 21 and it's just 70s stuff right there. My mom calls them funky colors and stuff and mustard yellow and like brown and all that. She doesn't like those colors. But I do. The next clothing outfit is these pants from Zara. I never really shopped there. 
Because their stuff is like kind of not really, but it's kind of for older people. I guess they're not really looking for the crowd of teenagers. Oh well. But I got these pants. They're nice, fancy, cute. But they're nice, you know. You can pair this with a white shirt. Specifically, maybe like a white U neck. Is that what you call it? Whatever neck type this is. And maybe it'll be a long sleeve shirt. It could be short sleeve. Wear some jewelry with it. A nice outfit. <laughs> All right, moving on to the next bag. Oh, I went thrift shopping and I got this bag. I got some nice two-tone jeans. Oh my gosh, let me show you my two-tone jeans. But I got these two-tone jeans. And it says like CP, I don't even know. They don't tell you what brands these exactly are. Oh, Celebrity Pink. But they were $17.50, and if you were to find a pair of two-tone jeans in a regular store like Forever 21, any of the stores that I mentioned before this, you'd probably have to pay like $45 to $50 for some two-tone jeans. Go thrift shopping, maybe you'll find a nice pair. The next bag we're gonna be looking at is Elf. I got makeup. What a surprise. So, I got this elf beauty shield it's a dual defense cleansing facial brush i had to say that like three times <laughs> nice and metallic but of course oh cruelty free bristles innovative design the little scoop helps avoid product contamination i don't know what the scoop is but thanks and of course i had to get the daily face cleanser because obviously why would you buy the brush but not get a face scrub or something and then i also got this illuminating moisturizer spf 15 and it comes with purified it doesn't come with purified water candle it's with purified water jojoba and vitamin e that sounded so incorrect because i didn't add like an and but i did add and vitamin e guys i'm unboxing and then i had to get this stardust glitter because you're gonna see the product like next well not next next but in the next bag but you should know that i personally i don't love glitter but i like glitter especially for your face and your body and then now i have one for the face sometimes this stuff just has such nice packaging that i don't want to open it and then to apply the highlighter or glitter whatever it's the highlighter brush obviously and the last thing i got that is mine because they were having a, a discount so i just got this lip i call it lacquer <laughs> but it's just lip gloss and my friend was laughing at me yesterday because i said lip lacquer but then i was like then what is it lip liqueur lip lasqueer Amazing! I usually like this. Ooh. Ooh, I like the way that feels. Let me stop. <laughs> Ooh, it's not. It's it's kind of sticky. It said it wouldn't be sticky. It's sticky. I have to complain. <laughs> amazing. It'd be more amazing if it wasn't clear and if my face wasn't crusty. All right. The next store is Urban Outfitters. The first thing that I saw and I was like, ooh, you caught my eye, I want you, was this tube top that is upside down, but now it isn't. There's nothing special about the tube top, just wanted another tube top, because if you have my Instagram, which you should, I have a floral tube top on there, and I kind of just wanted a regular one, and there was a different choice of colors, but I decided that I want more yellow in my wardrobe. The next shirt that caught my eye, but it was really expensive was this baby right here. It is really stretchy. I've noticed that I've gotten into tops that you don't really need to wear a bra with. Like, I'm not wearing a bra right now, but it's fine because you don't need to wear a bra if you don't want to. But yeah, the next thing I got from Urban was a famous spray that I've always wanted to have for some reason. And it is this Mario Betasque or Betasque. It's not bad as squee, it's bad as skew. It actually smells really good. Like, I don't know how to explain it. it. Has aloe, herbs, and rose water in it. And it's cruelty free, guys. Cruelty free world is the best world. I'm not making fun of people who say stuff like that. I just, like, 
I just said it. Because I stopped by at Lush. I feel like I should stop talking because I'm saying a lot of stuff that is kind of offensive. Because not all girls are like this on YouTube. I wasn't like this in the beginning. But now I am. And I love it. Okay? Okay. If you don't want to be like this, who cares? <laughs> be yourself, guys. Be yourself. Be you. I'm gonna stop being motivational and just continue my video. I got this little highlighter bar, body bar, from Lush, and it gets everywhere. You don't want to put on a lot because you may want to put some in a certain spot. You may want to put some in a certain spot and then rub it around because if you just go like that on your arm and like that, a lot will come off and then you'll just be a really glittery person. I was a really glittery person yesterday. Have you ever realized that wherever there's a Forever 21, there's not an Urban Outfitters or a Lush, and wherever there's an Urban Outfitters and a Lush, there's never a Forever 21? Why is that? They're all good stores, but you have to go to separate malls if you want to shop at those places specifically, which is annoying, because like, I don't want to travel five blocks just so I can go to Lush. Shoot. Put a Lush in this mall. The last bag is Forever 21, of course. That is my favorite place to go. I did a huge Forever 21 and H&M haul. It wasn't a haul, Kendall. It was a lookbook. But the first thing... Oh, well. But the first thing we're going to be looking at today are these pants right here. They're nice and stretchy in the back. And they're really cute. They're like work pants. Because my aunt... She just did um she just did a haul lookbook video combined thing unboxing. It was like all three in one. But I was in there when she was recording. And she got a pair of pants that look like these. They're not the same, but they look like it. I got these striped pants, plaid stripe woven I don't know. <laughs> and they're really cute. They're a cute fit on me. I can't wait till you guys see me in these outfits on my Instagram. And then bringing you back to the conversation of 70s, I got this shirt, which was in that section. I can't wait to wear it somewhere. I mean, not somewhere, I just can't wait to wear it. To add to my many dresses that look exactly the same is this dress right here. Look at it. Look at its beauty. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Like, I love these dresses so much. I think I have four of them now, but they're all different. The inside definitely isn't the same for the first one that I got, which was in my other video. You should go watch that one. There should be a card somewhere up on the screen. To add to the dresses again, this dress, what would you call this color? It's like a brown, but it looks like it was originally salmon or salmon color. But then you added some brown to it and it got a little bit darker. And the last thing I got from Forever 21 were these pants. They're wide leg pants. They look gorgeous on me. Thank you, Kendall. I love the compliments you've been giving lately. You're welcome. You're just a lot more confident now than you used to be. And I hope you appreciate that and you love it. I do love it. Thank you. Anyways, <laughs> so I got these pants here. They were a lot of money. It wasn't my money, but it was still a lot of money. And if I wasn't lazy right now, I would put them on and show you how they look on me, but I'm feeling lazy. So maybe you'll see these clothes in a lookbook playlist video, lookbook, regular lookbook, I don't know. Maybe you will. But that is it for this haul, unbagging, boxing, video i hope you enjoyed and you tune in for another video usually i don't really tell people to like and subscribe but i guess like and subscribe because people have been coming to my channel my voice just got higher pitched and it sounds really weird <coughs> anyways i don't usually tell people to like and subscribe but a lot of people have been coming to my channel lately as you know as you may know i have hit 50 subscribers to other YouTubers, that may not be a big deal. But I mean, that is a big deal. 50 people are actually interested in what I have to say. But 
thanks for watching subscribe like do whatever i don't really care thanks for taking your time off to watch my 15 20 however long video this is and i'll see you next time